she received a phone call saying that she had won $2.5 million and she had to pay the sales tax on it. Michelle Lasello says her mother lost more than $100,000 in a lottery sweepstakes scam. I feel like if they could get her, they could get anybody. They, it, it's just awful that they are so persistent, evil, and cruel. I mean, cruel that somebody could do take that much money from one person that is now a widow. These con artists were in Jamaica, and they convinced Lasello's mother to send money to get the winnings. And at that point, she was sending $500 increments. Lasello says the voices on the phone were persuasive and took advantage of her mom at a vulnerable time. It really happened after my father died, so that's where we think she got caught up in this big mess because she was filling a void that was missing in her life. The family repeatedly warned their mother that this was a scam, but she continued sending money. They were brainwashing her, basically, is what they were doing. Lucello's family, in the end, was forced to take over their mother's finances. It was heart-wrenching. It was aggravating that she would believe this, that she would believe that you could win money, but you have to pay money. And we tried telling her over and over again, when you win something, you don't have to pay. Foreign lotto schemes may be fleecing Americans out of as much as a billion dollars every year. The fraudsters are relentless and ruthless. Uh, they, will stop, they won't stop until uh, the senior has no more money to send, and then they'll recruit them to receive money from other seniors.